even. And these teams both pretty rugged on the boards, Clark. Could be some go. heavy lifting tonight. I agree. I mean, you see a lot of teams these days go small in the front court. This is one category that I think favors those big bodies who can carve out the space and do damage in the paint. Let's lock into that tonight. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Jared Allen out there with George Nias. And it's Struess in at the three slot. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. Good on the shot. And standing just six foot one, amazing how effective Mitchell is attacking the paint. Here's Porter. Great D that time from Allen. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. It's a three-point game. Three out of three. Perfect start. Let's see how long they can ride this wave. Murray passes to Porter. Two points. That one goes. Sweet move by Porter. Getting around the contact and finding the hoop. For Cleveland, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. About a minute into this first quarter, Mitchell, the pass to Allen. That's rock solid defense right there. Jokic bodied him up and then affected the trajectory of the shot. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Garland with the ball. Checked by Murray from deep. Struce. It's stolen. Jokic passes to Porter. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Plenty of space. Cash. Assisting on the play with Porter. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Nieg up top. Defended by Gordon. Here's Mitchell. No good there. Great D that time for Porter. The Nuggets have gone two of three from the floor. Here's Gordon. Soft touch off the glass. And although he's 6'9", Gordon runs and sprints like a much smaller man. He's got gazelle-like form and speed in transition. Now here's Garland. Coming off a terrific game against Minnesota. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, this should be showing a lot more energy. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big man. Not only do they have the length of size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-2023 season setting a Cleveland franchise record for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. Mitchell got a piece of it. At the defensive end, Gordon is very accomplished. I mean, he gets off the ground quickly and is an excellent shot blocker as a result. Murray for three, and he buries his first look. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Cavs trailing. Garland with the ball. Caldwell Pope covering. Back to Garland. On the take. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. Garland's got seven points. Garland has clearly added some muscle over the years. He's looking more and more comfortable working through contact. And Jokic throws it down. He's to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. Tipped. And here we go again. The Nuggets on the break. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And here's Porter, outside Murray. Porter finds Murray. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. And up, another three for Denver. <laughs> I just love the ball. Dude. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They trail by six. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Minnesota. That game could have been a lot closer than it was. They were just too sharp down the stretch. Yeah, I thought they did a great job closing the door and keeping it out of reach at the end. The three from Mitchell doesn't go for him. 
Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed him with that tight cover. And Gordon with the big finish. And when Gordon is launched and in the air like that, it's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. Here's Garland following the score by Denver. And the shot goes down. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And Gordon with the big finish. You know, it's clear that Gordon is one of the best dunkers in the game. Always looking to bring the thunder. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Garland with the ball. Checked by Murray. Back come the Nuggets on the run. And he's going for the lob. And Gordon with the big finish. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with a detailed interior attack. And you know, that involves pounding it inside. Getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Order the pass to Murray. Launches it from deep. Here's Jokic. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Free throw drops for Jokic. And Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that final MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Shot is good by Gordon. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. The three from Mitchell. That shot off the mark. He just can't find a consistent way to score, and this team could certainly use it. Oh! And Mitchell with the slam. The hands of Garland starting that break, and just a nice steal. Wow. Murray against Garland. The drive by Murray. Misses the layup. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights that bucket is automatic. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Garland. He's got 12. Pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. How about that? Throwing it down. Allen loses energy and teammates feed off of him. Here's Murray. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Aaron Gordon, he's been the guy making things happen for Denver. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck. Plenty of time left in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Denver. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. One other factor today, points off turnover. I mean, let's see if they can keep up the pressure. Capitalize on more forced miscues. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. George Nieg out there with Max Truce. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Body control so important to the success of the floater from Garland. It's stolen by Garland. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Aaron Gordon has been a hand-in-glove fit in the Nuggets front court alongside Nicole Jokic. Gordon said he's the perfect situation to, quote, showcase my well-roundedness as a ball player. The guy who can fill in, do a little bit of everything on the offensive end, and then make it a frustrating night for the other team's best player. Brian? Allie, thank you. And Joker doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just well. fit, and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office, doing a good job drafting, and then finding the right veterans to complement what they already had. Murray, shot is good. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Garland. He's got 16. Garland's got 18 points in the game. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Out to Gordon. Takes a three. Pure from three-point range. 
Nuggets lead by 13. I think this is an area that Gordon has really improved. Now a legitimate threat from outside the arc. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Nia. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds. It's out of bounds to Cleveland. Cleveland ball. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jared Allen. Six to shoot. Garland with the ball. Now Porter defending. The basket counts. And one. He'll go to the line. A chance at a three-point play. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads. And he'll be for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot. And ready to fight. And right now, Gordon is on a whole nother level. I mean, he's not forcing anything. He's really letting the game come to him. And his shots are being taken right in rhythm. Caldwell Pope against Mitchell. Murray passes to Jokic. Inside, Jokic drops it in. Boy, oh, slick pass by Murray. He makes such an effort to create for his teammates. The Cavs have gone four for six here in the second. Mitchell into the lane. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. Yeah, and Mitchell is so confident with the ball in his hands. I mean, you got to love his tenacity. Here's Gordon. Just outstanding. He hits again, and he's still a perfect nine for nine. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot, not one. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. And Grant with the idea of league expansion. Some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent. And there's definitely the depth for more teams to join the fray. Now here's Porter. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Oh, got that one up quick. Porter's got five points now in the quarter. Well, the mechanics of Porter Jr.'s shot are just so efficient. Almost automatic. Hits the ball and puts it right up into the shooting pocket. Now here's Jokic. Ten points for him. Four, three. And that's another three for Denver. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. And the shot is good by Garland. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Denver has gone a perfect five for five from deep tonight. From deep, Jokic. Porter finds Jokic. Now a timeout called by Denver. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. <laughs> it always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor. Yeah, I think that was a big part of it for sure, as it is any time you make a bunch of mistakes. All they had to do was follow their game plan, and that's exactly what they did. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Coro's checked in. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Here's Jokic. Got it. Good job in the low post. Jokic has got 15 points. A strong start. And if anything, he's gotten better in the second quarter. Carlo, way outside. Gets a hand on it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, I tell you, this guy just does not quit on the boards. His energy is contagious, especially to the offensive glass. And that's two fouls for him so far. But I still think he needs to stay aggressive. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. And what separates the Nuggets on offense is their efficiency, Clark. You're right on it, B.A. You rarely see them take bad shots. I mean, they are a well-oiled offensive machine, adamant about getting quality shots on a consistent basis. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. And, and trailing in this game now is not the time to start playing conservative. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Garland, pass to Okoro. Garland against Murray. 
Pass to Mitchell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. Up again, great positioning on the putback. And we talk about how Mitchell does a little of everything. I mean, that was just great hustle. Garland against Murray. Picked it out of midair. Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Allen inside. And so it's the That's Denver Nuggets. They have a confident 20-point lead right now. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Hello, everybody. Hey, I was wondering, after the show, you guys doing anything? Well, that depends. Well, I got three free tickets to golf. And now talking about our current game, gotta be impressed with the big halftime lead for the Nuggets. We've talked to... Thanks for joining us. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. It's been a clinic out there by Darius Garland. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of it. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. And it's Murray in at the one. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. With the big finish. It's never easy in the NBA, folks. I mean, great job by Gordon to just dismiss the contact and still score. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Can. Outside Garland. Drives to the hoop. And a nice finish on the layup. Garland's got 26 points. Well, if you give Garland even the slightest lane, you can be sure that he's going to take it right to the rim. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. And that's the first of just two home games for him. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. The Nuggets have some flat-out scorers on their roster, but head coach Mike Malone said the way we play is pass is king. The ball moves around, and everybody benefits. And Brian, it sure helps when your best player, Nicole Jokic, is setting the tone with his incredible court vision. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks for that. Outside Mitchell. Jacks up a three. They get the rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, big finish. Oh, it's easy to admire the aggressiveness of Gordon. This guy is always looking to take it strong to the cup. With the crossover. Kept alive. Outside for Mitchell. Second shot opportunity. Pass to Struess. Mitchell with the ball. Three-pointer. Allen, the second chance points on the tip-in. Allen's got four points this quarter. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive board. He did it with great position. Murray. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. And the Nuggets lead by 20. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. From deep, Mitchell. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Cleveland has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. It's scooped up. Gordon, the pass to Jokic. Here's Porter. Fires the three. 
And they've stopped the action here. They're using their coach's challenge to see if they can get this foul in return. And Florida Junior has a very high ceiling. The previous play has been one of the nuggets. This will slow the action down. There were so many close calls in every game. The NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing after the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Call was wrong. He'll back him up and the make the refs take another look. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Here's Caldwell Pope. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got five rebounds in the game. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just as on this regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. Well, you know what I like to say? Persistence pays and with Gordon. He's the kind of guy who just does not rest on the clock. Mitchell drives in. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got 10 rebounds here. Oh, so active. So, Grant, if you were a GM, you could choose one young player to build around. Who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, PA, I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbayama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. He's perfect from the line this time. On the very short list of franchise-level guards, Donovan Mitchell can take over a game with his scoring ability. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Mitchell into the lane. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Gordon. Pass to Jokic. Second chance effort. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Some room here for Struess. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Elite vision from Jokic. Knows exactly where his teammates are at all times. And recognizes the defense, too. Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. Takes a step back. Here's Murray. And rejected. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Garland. Nuggets ball. Fifteen left in the third. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. On the wing, Struess. And that'll be Cleveland's ball as it goes out of bounds. Cavs keep possession here. <laughs> Great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. The three from Mitchell. Really good job by the coaching staff, I think, on the defensive end. Much more energy and effort since halftime and really making their opponents work for every good shot. Uh, this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Well, the Cavaliers shooting about 31% here in quarter number three. From downtown, offensive rebound. Here's the three. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got eight assists in the game. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And another miss by Cleveland. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Timeout, timeout. Gordon. 
Now a timeout called by Denver. Smart adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Kelly Oop on top, hammer and hold. You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Here's Gordon. No good with the elbow jumper. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Aaron Gordon, he's been the guy making things happen for Denver. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the... And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. Darius And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So for Cleveland right now, Scarlett runs point with Mitchell at the two. Max Struess is out there with Akura. And it's Allen in at the center position, locking down the middle. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Struess. Right side, Garland. Shot clock at six. And Allen gets it to go. Well, you got to do much more than that to slow Allen. I mean, this guy is long and athletic, capable of converting through contact. Porter finds Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray. Gordon with it. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. And not off to be treated to a solo alley-oop. <laughs> Takes precision timing for sure. Tell you what, the coach's heart was in his throat and he was in shock and awe. But now, he's got a big smile on his And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached. But, man, plan to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, man. Hey, we all know Moore's a terrific jammer now. He loves throwing it down. From deep, Mitchell. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Oh, got a piece of it. And an intentional foul right there. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Greg? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. The drive by Murray. Pass to Jordan. And another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Garland for three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And Garland with the basket on the assist by Struess. Garland's got four points this quarter. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Gordon. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. And you know, Gordon's so crafty and full of tricks that he keeps the defense guessing. Jokic has checked in for Jordan. No good on the second free throw. Here's Mitchell. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Here's Caldwell Pope. Murray against Garland. Back to Porter. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got nine points here in the second half. Here's Mitchell. Oh, Jokic with the block. What I like about Jokic defensively is what I like about him overall. Great instincts. Murray, no good. 
It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. But well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Nuggets. I love the way they're finishing, penetrating, getting downhill, taking the game to their opponents. They've been the aggressors, and that's been impressive. Yeah, and their team-first approach is another thing you have to like. And they've had great ball movement and are getting a lot of points off assists. Out to Garland. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Gordon. Buries it down low. Gordon's got 40 points. Gordon is one of those guys who loves physical contact. He's really skilled at finishing over difficult defense. From deep, Mitchell. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. And he's playing the game with a certain flair right now. Oh, he caps off the move with a little hang time on the rim. Yeah, he just couldn't contain himself. Couldn't control himself there. Murray, the six-footer. Pass to Jokic. Great D that time from Allen. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Here's Mitchell driving in. And the lamp is good off the glass. Mitchell's got 10 points in the quarter. The fast break opportunity isn't wasted on Mitchell. His quickness, a big part of his success. Jokic against Allen. Just four to shoot. Goes back up. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Nuggets. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, yeah B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine oh. it'll be any different. And this result tonight, it gets them to 44 wins on the year. After losing the first game, they've come back and even things up in this one. They'll play one more time in this season series after this. And partner, it sets up what should be a fantastic finale to the season series. Major bragging rights on the line that night. And what a huge performance it was for Aaron Gordon. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Pass to Garland. The three from Mitchell. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Shooting for Cleveland. He's off on the second. Mitchell. Taking three shots. And he nails the third. 26 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Murray with the drive. Outside, Caldwell Pope. They kick it out to Murray. Launches it. The rebound by Allen. Here's Okoro. And they recover it. Big rebound there, and a smart play to kick it right back out. They want to use as much clock as possible. Second chance points are always painful. You have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. So no problem for Denver as they get the win. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. All right, Aaron, a special performance for you tonight. Talk about how you were able to get it going. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce.